Hey guys, welcome to another video by YoKeebs here. Today we have the KBD67 Lite R2 in Bluetooth edition. So we are going to give you a guide on how to flash this keyboard with, uh, you know, what key map you want. Uh, there's no official build guide from KBD fans yet. So I wanted to share this with you guys after trying this out. So it's a pretty simple process since this keyboard does not have QMK or VIA. So this should be helpful. I will do a separate review for this keyboard soon. So be sure to subscribe and also follow the twitch.tv slash yo keeps. All right, let's get into it. So first of all, what you want to do is open up this website. It's called, I will leave the link of the website in the description below. So this is the YD key map builder for YD67 BLE. So usually it would be a different keyboard in here and what you want to do is find the yd67 ble right here just click it should change automatically so we want to change the key mapping so i want this to be delete let's change that to delete we want this to be end let's just keep it at end for example so you can change whatever you guys want with the key maps in here you have the different layers as well if you want to change layers you can have the layer switch momentaries here which is pretty simple i guess it's similar to via and everything else but as long as you're done with the key mapping if you're done you can press the download button here you can press the dl bin file and what it should do is down put a download uh, file right here so what you want to do next is take your keyboard in its Bluetooth form. You hold the escape button. Hold the escape button and you plug in your USB cable. It should come up as the prompt and there should be a file explorer uh, that goes into it's called the YD67BLE. So what you want to do is you take that file that you got download and you put it into that folder and you would usually just, you know, replace it. Oh. Yeah. So you just replace the file in the destination. It should just mix things up a little bit and it should have a different sound and just press escape once. And then let's check on via. If it has changed it to delete or not. So let's reset this. And then we press this it should be delete. And this should be end. Delete and end. So it works already. That's a simple flash on how you do it. So yeah, that's basically how you flash the keyboard. It's quite easy to do. Uh, it's not as hard, but I'll get into the review of this keyboard soon. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.